Indecent is an incredibly powerful story about a play and looking at this sort of huge swath of history from 1907 to 1953 through the eyes of a life of one piece of art. When people see Indecent telling this history, uh, I think we're shocked. I think we're shocked by how current it is and how vital it is now. The central relationship in The God of Vengeance is between two women and it was performed all over Europe, came to New York, and they translated it into English for the Broadway premiere and it didn't last very long on Broadway. It was, um, it was banned for being indecent. Um, and I play um, the stage manager who's with it from the outset. He's at the very first reading of the play and he goes right through um, to the end. He's got a real passion for the piece. It, it covers a lot of heavy material and the way that it's executed is, is fascinating in itself. So I guess audiences can come to watch the, to the story and to get a grasp of this message, but also should come to watch it um, because the devices used and the representation and the way that um, Paul and Rebecca and the whole of the creative team built it from the beginning is, is a whole fascination in itself. Um, so that's like the, the twofold element of that, of why the play is valuable, is, is, was, was a real revelation. I play several people that are really crucial, particularly one of the two girls represented in the original play that we're discussing, The God of Vengeance. I play Manka, the prostitute who um, engages in this absolutely beautiful relationship with the household's virgin daughter, Rivkula. And what they find together um, is many layers of love, uh, but in many ways transcends all sexuality. Uh, and they find a pure and beautiful place to sort of live together one night in the rain um, that's free from all social ties. The thought of doing it in here is uniquely thrilling because it will feel so close and intimate. Um, and I think that is a, it's a very particular way to experience this piece. We did it, we have done it in a smaller space, but never with the, the intimacy that you feel in that room. Um, so I am so excited. And the company, you know, they're just blowing my mind. I mean, I don't say that lightly. They're absolutely incredible. They really are. What was surprising to me was that so many younger people flocked this show because it is very much about trying to find your new way as a new generation. And for once I wrote a play where young people came, wept, came back, and then said, I must bring my grandparents. I'm used to, you know, grandparents and parents saying, oh, I must bring my children. It was the other way around when we ran it in New York. So I'm, I'm going to be fascinated to see how it resonates. What I'd like audiences to take away from Indecent is that all voices of any creed, any class, any part of society, no matter what you sound like, no matter the color of your skin or your faith, no matter your gender or sexual identity, your voice matters. And your voice deserves to have its stories told on all stages.